The Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force has made its first known deployment of GJ-11 Sharp Sword unmanned stealth fighters, which are stationed at Chagats Air Base in Tibet, marking the first operationalization of an unmanned fighter squadron by any country in the world. Confirmation by satellite footage of the operationalization of the world's first known unmanned fighter squadron marks a major landmark in the Chinese defense sector's rapid development of new unmanned aircraft. It occurs at a time when the country is also poised to lead the world by a margin of several years in operationalizing the world's first sixth-generation fighter aircraft, achieving a newfound degree of leadership in the field of combat aviation more broadly. Prototypes of the GJ-11 have been seen with growing frequency since 2018, with the unmanned aircraft expected to be semi-autonomous and eventually be able to operate with full autonomy. Footage from Chinese state media outlet CCTV released in 2022 indicated that the aircraft may be intended to be commanded by twin CJ-20 fighters for some operations. The GJ-11 uses a tailless flying wing design similar to that of the American B-21 bomber to maximize stealth, although such aircraft have limited speeds and levels of maneuverability. Although confirmed to house a large internal weapons bay, GJ-11's armaments remain uncertain, with some sources speculating that the aircraft could carry PL-15 and possibly even PLXX air-to-air missiles to facilitate long-range engagements. Carriage of crews and anti-radiation missiles is also considered likely. Unmanned fighters are expected to have lifetime costs a fraction of those of their manned counterparts, as requirements for training flights are only a fraction of those of manned aircraft which reduces sustainment costs significantly. Satellite imagery shows several GJ-11 Sharp Sword stealthy flying wing uncrewed combat air vehicles were deployed to a very active dual-use military civilian airport in western China for weeks between August and September. This would be in line with an operational test and might point to the GJ-11 having reached a semi-operational state. Imagery in Planet Lab's online archive database shows three GJ-11s at Shigats Air Base, also known as Shigats Peace Airport in China's Tibet Autonomous Region, from August 6 through September 5. The Sharp Sword has been in development for more than a decade and is understood to be designed to at least perform penetrating air-to-surface strike and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR missions. It also has the potential for use in air-to-air -air combat as an electronic warfare platform. China's Stealth Sharp Sword unmanned combat air vehicles deployed to operational airbase. At least two of the drones seen in the images of Shigats have overall gray paint schemes, as is commonly seen on other Chinese crewed and uncrewed military aircraft. At least one additional example is seen with a red-slash-brown colored protective covering of some kind. A Planet Labs image of Shigats taken on September 10, seen below, shows flanker-type fighters with similar covers. Though its location is remote, Shigats occupies a strategic position along China's southwestern flank with India. It is situated just around 90 miles northeast of the boundary with India's Sikkim state, which is one of a number of border areas between the two countries that have seen sometimes violent skirmishes. In the past five years or so, the Chinese People's Liberation Army has been steadily working to expand its ability to project air power from multiple bases in the Tibet and Xinjiang Autonomous Regions. Shigat's main runway is one of the longest in the world, stretching approximately 16,404 feet 5,000 meters in length. An additional 9,840 foot 3,000 meter auxiliary runway, with seven large aircraft parking spots attached to it, was also completed at the facility back in 2017. An expanded apron for military aircraft was also subsequently constructed at the eastern end of the base. Work to further enlarge that apron, and to build what looks to be at least five hangars and other supporting infrastructure adjacent to it, has been underway for around a year now. In line with all this, Shigats has a significant and active the People's Liberation Army presence. In terms of crewed aircraft, there is a continuous fighter presence at the base, which has included flanker-type and J-10s over the years. Satellite imagery shows that other fixed-wing military aircraft, including airborne early warning and control planes, as well as helicopters, operate from there, as well. 
Shigats is also a very well-established hub for drone operations, with various types, including members of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation's Rainbow family, having been continuously based there for years now. Shigats was notably the first known operating location for the high-flying WZ-7 Soaring Dragon Reconnaissance Drone. WZ-7s, which also have a constant presence at the facility, are used to collect intelligence along the border with India. The nature of the People's Liberation Army's activity at Shigat strongly points at least to the GJ-11s having been sent there for some type of operational testing. Prior to this, sharp swords had been primarily spotted at test facilities, such as the sprawling and secretive base at Malin in Xinjiang province. The drones have been flying daily at Malin for more than a year now. Mockups have also been spotted at Chinese naval test and training facilities, as well as at parades. Flying from Shigats would offer a real-world opportunity to explore and refine tactics, techniques, and procedures for employing the drones operationally, as well as just how they might fit into existing force structures. The base, which lies at an elevation of nearly 12,410 feet 3,782 meters, also offers an especially high-altitude testing location, as well as one that is in proximity to an area of active tension with India and that country's air defense overlay. Having multiple sharp swords at the facility would also allow for demonstrations of their ability to operate cooperatively, as well as alongside crude platforms, and potentially do so with a high degree of autonomy. China's J-20 stealth fighter is regularly presented as a likely aerial companion to the GJ-11. The GJ-11 is one of several unmanned fighters confirmed to be under development, with work currently ongoing on more ambitious programs to develop more maneuverable aircraft with higher levels of autonomy, such as the Dark Sword Fighter.